I will go. I will go anywhere you lead me. I will go. A young lady was crying and complaining to her mom about life and she just felt that life was unfair and she was shouting and yelling at the mom and the mom didn't say a word the mom just went in front of a a gas cooker a four four burner the one that has four compartments and the mom put three three pots and put water on them while the lady was yelling mommy are you hearing me life is unfair and in one of the pots that was boiling she put an egg e double g in one of the pots that was boiling there she put coffee are we together and then in one of the pots i can't remember again what she put there rat carrots thank you are we together and she allowed it for a few for a few maybe some time and then she called the young lady and opened the pots and said tell me what you see and she found out that number one her observation was there was fire under the pot on all all three pots so they went through the same situation of heat are we together but for the egg that was fragile and could just you know fall to the ground and you would lose it it had now become hard and strong you could even peel the back and you would not destroy it for the carrots that seemed to be very hard now you could almost bend it and it would bend like this but she noticed something strange with the coffee the coffee looked like the smallest of the seeds there and when she put it the entire water had turned to the coffee color and she said all of them were subjected to the same situation one influenced the system and turned it to look like the color the other one became a victim became hard the other one became soft but the other one said i would not only change i would transform the system is someone learning now you can be one of these three some of you were very hard now some of you were very soft now some of you look very small and you're looking at yourself and say small me in such a system learn from the coffee seed it transformed everything there same thing happens with salt you pick a pinch of salt and put it around and turn it and that's it you don't see it again but you taste the food it will establish its presence there even if you keep even if the food spoils the taste of salt will still be there there are certain foods when they spoil they will taste like something else but as for salt it will still be there is someone learning you must be willing to drop age-long limiting unscriptural and anti-destiny beliefs. Number four, those who become, those who contend for transformation are those who are ready and prepared to face and endure the consequences of growth and progress. Are we together let me take it again those who become those who are transformed are those who are willing and are prepared to face the consequences and to endure the consequences of growth and progress let me tell you the truth contending for growth and progress comes with consequences sometimes unfavorable consequences but if you really want to be transformed you must be ready and prepared to face and endure the consequences of growth and progress daniel chapter 3 for sake of time let's start from verse 6 then we'll jump to verse 12 and we'll continue till i ask you to stop this was shadrach meshach and abednego remember King Nebuchadnezzar, there was a 90 feet statue of pure gold that was built. And he said at the sound of whatever it is now, they should bow down. They would have bowed down and remained there. No promotion, no increase. But here it is. The Bible says, whosoever falleth not down and worshipeth shall at the same hour 
be thrown into the burning fiery furnace now go to verse 12 the bible says there are certain jews they were reporting them now and oh king they have not regarded you they have not served your gods they have not worshipped the golden image that you have set up next verse Nebuchadnezzar heard this he was angry listen to me there are consequences for desiring to go forward when Jesus said let us go to the other side the consequence of that decision was there was a storm the disciples almost lost their life advancement is not convenient transformation is not convenient it will change many things about you when you make up your mind that you want to carry genuine spiritual power, you make up your mind that you want to be learned and sound in scripture, I submit to you, it will change many things. Are we together? They brought these men before the king, 14. Nebuchadnezzar spoke to them and said, is it true that you have violated my commands? 15, watch this now. He now gave them one last chance. Doesn't it look like what life does? choose to remain here and be comfortable or go through the controversy that comes with advancement 16. shadrach meshach and abednego answered and said to the king O nebuchadnezzar we are not careful to answer you on this matter look at this gentleman 18. he said if it be so our god whom we serve is able to deliver us from this burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of your hand 18 but if not but if not i know based on the word of god that as i advance into this business as i advance in ministry this is what should be but if not i rather fail following god than to mark time in fear those who listen those who move forward and are transformed are people who are willing to go through the discipline and the consequences there are many of you please listen to me there are many of you making a decision for jesus and making a decision for a meaningful life may cost you the sponsorship of those who are currently helping you they will make up your mind their minds and say I will never help you there are many people who are of many different faiths who came to Jesus Christ and their family members warned them and say listen we're giving you one last chance think about it and remain with status quo and find the comfort or make up your mind and they made up their minds and for five years nothing changed they really suffered as a result let me tell you the truth advancement comes with severe consequences making up your mind for jesus you would think that after such a bold statement god would not even allow the story continue he would step in do you know how frustrating it is to stand and defend the name of the lord and the trouble they told you would happen still happens as though god were not watching 19. learn something tonight nebuchadnezzar was angry at what he perceived to be their disdain and he commanded that they should hit the fire seven times hotter let's rush 20. he commanded that the boys be cast into the fire next verse and the boys were bound as at the time they were tying them brothers and sisters god was watching in heaven i wonder what they were saying you thought that they were not afraid they just said god you will come it's a lie they were humans they were shaking like a leaf so this is how we're going to die but lord we defended you how many of you know that there were people who stood before terrorists and they told them renounce your faith and we'll kill you they said we will not they shot them and they died hmm. there are consequences when you want to go forward my people there are people today who would have been billionaires with compromise but they gave up billions. Everybody called them fool, including we pastors. They say, you, there's a way you would have done this thing. You are, you are really stupid. And they felt stupid later on. Because they thought that at the end of living a nice life, their superior will call them and say, I've watched you. I should bless you. They say, now that your tenure is over, get out of this place. Let the person who walk with us come. Do you know how difficult it is when you're loving God makes you look stupid when you're honoring god makes you look stupid you would have compromised and by now you would have had a job but for three years you have refused 
what of the politician who would have compromised and become a governor or a senator he was given the offer and he said no for the sake of my faith is someone learning transformation is costly it's not just sitting in your room and changing states you must be ready to face and endure the consequences let's finish this scripture 22 therefore because the king's commandment was urgent the fiery furnace was put so hot it slew those that the men threw 23 and the three boys fell down bound in the burning fires there are times where god can stop you from even entering the fire but there are times sadly ladies and gentlemen you will still enter that fire but trust him enough trust him enough so you are making up your mind you will never follow any man for money again you are making up your mind you are going to serve the lord and have a dignity a, a destiny of dignity and color and your friends can warn you you know that your accommodation in abuja you know how it, it, and where are you going to get 1.2 million from and you make up your mind and then your rent expires and you drop your prayer request in the miracle service and afterwards your landlord is waiting for you you flog it out and nothing seems to happen you have a choice to go back but i've said it here the same energy it takes to go back is the same energy it takes to move forward whether you go back or go forward you are not where you were